Okay, my name is Yi Qing. My family name is Guan. I'm from China. Currently, I work in the Africa University. I gave me the lecture and also do some research in the water issues. In China, I think the most important water issue is about the three aspects. Maybe you can see that. One is the maybe too much water and uh, too little water and also too dirty water. Too much water it means the floods in China every year because the, from the south to north they have the flood problems. A lot of people, you know, die killed due to the flood. Not only for the big river basins and also some small river basins. During the past few years, every year, everywhere in China, they have such problems. And the second issue is that too little problems. This means the drought or the shortage of problems. In 2010 and 2011, and also this year, in the South China, also some of the drought problems. We don't have water for irrigation or water supply. And also some of the lake dried up in the Hubei province and also in Minglan and Guido province. Normally in those regions, they have a lot of water. Water is not a problem. And now, just the past three years, they have big drought problems. It's happening, I think, just that before in the past uh, 60 years, is the first time to see that. Because before, the Chinese government thing always think you know, they are rich in water in the South China. And the third problem is the pollution, pollution problems. It's too dirty water. It's not only in the South China, as in the North China. Normally in North China, the precipitation, the rainfall is about, uh, for, for example, in Beijing region, it's about 500 millimeter per year. And in the South China, I mean, it ranged from uh, 1,500 to 1,800 millimeter for one year in the South China. The rich water, but sometimes, you know, due to the economic development, and some of the policy may not good for the pollution control at the beginning during the past 60, 30 years. During the economic development, the fast development, rapid development, a lot of wastewater untreated and directly discharged into the rivers and the lakes and ponds and polluted the surface water. At the same time, also the groundwater polluted. So now in China, from the north to south, there are bigger issues is that the water pollution control. And there is the, not only in, in fact for the water supply, for irrigation, and also for the ecosystems, for the river and the lakes. So they have big impact for the water supply also. You know, from the, some regions in, in the South China, the, some of the cities, they have a lot of water, but they polluted. They don't have enough clean water to drink, and also for irrigation. So now the Chinese government, they pay much attention on the water issues. And that since last year, the Chinese government had one policy, is that in five years, the Chinese government will invest for some of the billion Chinese yuan for the irrigation, for the flood control, and also for water location, also for the wastewater treatment. It means the water is very important, not only for the life, and also we consider about the food security. Like the here, water is most important for the food supply, product, productivity. I think for the integrated water resource management, IWRM is important in China because now in China, in the universities, we give a lecture to talk about water resource management as the comprehensive way for the integrated. Before, we never considered in China. I think 30, 20 years ago, or 10 years, 15 years ago in China, in our university, or our water university, we never considered about water resource management. 
they just consider disaster, the flood control and also the drought control. But now we can see the water source and water resources. Because water is a natural as a natural resource is very important. Very right in China and also in the world. So we should use the water laws and also some policy to manage the water, to have the good clean water for drink, for water supply, and therefore education. This is for the GWP is really important in China because we have some partnership in China for different provinces, for different institutes. They join the GWP family. And it is also very good to help the local government and the universities for the education, for the research, and for the decision makers to make to provide the scientific background for the decision meetings. I hope the GWP will bring more benefit for our government, for our university education. Also. Thank you very much.